Well, the tender tank just ran out of gas, so we're going to the gas station to fill it back up. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to yet another episode of How Farms Work. Today, we are cultivating corn at one of Travis's fields. Travis is currently in the 4020. We did a little bit of reman work to the 4020. We replaced some of the points on there to kind of make it work better, to stir the ground a little bit better. And the whole idea behind cultivating is to break up the soil. And just recently, actually as early as last year, we went ahead and put the a pump and as well as a few tanks on the cultivator. And this allows us to put down nutrients as well. So today we're actually putting down a whole mixture of nutrients. We've got our NPNK, we have actually 32% nitrogen that are in the tanks. We have the bulk tank over here and it seems to be doing pretty well so far. We haven't had any major issues for, from what we've cultivated up to this point. Uh, there's about 30 acres on this farm that we need to get done just today. They are calling for rain later this afternoon. Uh, it is pretty cool today. It's about 65 degrees right now and that is pretty out of the ordinary for what we've been having. I, I'm pretty sure that once the storm rolls through this afternoon, it's going to be warm and humid again. So we've got Travis coming up on us now. Let's go ahead and watch him get things done.
Well, Travis is all done cultivating that field. Uh, expect some hay videos coming up very shortly. Uh, we're going to start cutting the hay out here and we're going to get ready to start making first crop. We're also going to cut the pastures out here, the four hillsides we like to cut every year for first crop. Um, then while after we get the pastures all made, we're going to let my cattle out because I've kind of been like keeping them into the buildings. I've been alternating them between the barnyard and the steer lot trying to kind of maximize the feed that they have to try to you know make it last the longest but um by the time that we get that all made and all the bales moved out uh probably right down to the day it's going to be time to let the cows out so anyway uh yeah be sure to watch out for those videos that are coming up shortly i'm gonna head in and start working on some videos so thanks for watching guys